How's it going everybody? It's Jeff Bang with Team Real and the Blues. Well, I finally got to another milestone. I'm getting ready to mount the seat bases in here. I've just finished putting the consoles in. I've got them set exactly where I want them. I know how everything's going to be oriented, so now it's just getting my seats placed exactly where I want them. It's both mostly going to be used for crappy, striper, that type of thing. I may even do a little catfishing out of it, but for the most part, it's just going to be a panfish boat. But anyway, someone had seen these in the background uh, for one of my other videos, and they asked how I was able to get them back to where they looked halfway decent or if they was new. These aren't new. These are the old ones. I'm pretty cheap. I try to do all my builds on a budget and try to save money where I can. There's nothing wrong with these bases. They were just pretty uh, corroded. They look pretty nasty. Now, I'm prepping these because eventually I'm probably going to just end up painting them or use something like a bed liner over the top of them. But they do look good even done like this. And this is so simple, it ain't even funny. You can get them back with acids and cleaners, but they still always got that dull, bad look to them. Here's one of the better ones. This is this is about as good as that one looked. You can see it looks pretty rough. That's about how it looked all before. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I get these back to where they look more like this. Pretty simple. There's no, no big uh, surprise on how to do this. The way I do it, sometimes you use a vibrating sander and you can, uh, if you want to polish these up, you can do what I'm gonna do right now and then hit it with like a 80 grit vibrating sander. And then after you do it with 80 grit vibrating sander, go to a 400 grit vibrating sander. And then you could go to about a 1200 grit. And if you do that, these things will be polished up like a mirror. I'm not worried about taking it that far. All I'm gonna do is just get them all to look about like that. You can see these, these turned out real good. All right, first I'm gonna show you what a vibrating sander does and I'll show you why I didn't do it this way. See, if you start with a vibrating sander, you can see it's uh, pretty much just smearing the uh, corrosion around and you're not really getting anywhere. What I always do first, I just use a good old sander like this right here, grinder, let's say. And right now I'm, I've got, I think it's 80 grit in it. Yep, this is 80 grit sandpaper. And the way to do it is just make smooth passes. Don't try to grind on any spot longer than you have to. Just keep the thing moving, don't let it stop, and just rotate this as you go. All right, let me show you what we're doing. And as you can see, it gives you a nice, good, uniform effect by doing it that way. And you know, you can make two passes around the whole thing and get it exactly the way you want it. And then after you get done with that, you just go around the edges, clean them up, and then I always make one more pass around the whole thing. There we go. It ain't perfect, but it looks pretty good. It'll look really good on the boat. And if I want to take this further, now is when I would use the vibrating sander and sand this down and just keep working it down until I got to a really fine grit and then polish it up with some aluminum polish. All right, that was just a quick tip, just showing you what I do. And I hope that answers the question of the person that asked me on the other thread. But as you can see, it turned out nice. This is gonna look really, really good when I put it on the boat, and hey, maybe I won't decide to paint it. Maybe I will leave it shiny. We'll just have to see it a little bit further down the line. But if I do decide to paint it, at least now I've got a good rough surface on it. Won't be hard to get the paint to stick to it. Or if I use bed liner, bed liner will stick to it really good too. Well, if you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it, feel free to comment. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to sub. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.